Hello there and welcome. In this episode we're looking at the best algae eating fish for a marine aquarium. When it comes to marine aquariums and algae eaters, there are quite a few fish that will do it. However, there are only a few species that will reliably eat algae and I'm going to go through some of them now. So the first kind of fish and my personal favourite are the rabbit fish. You can see three of them in front of you. One of the most popular rabbit fish you can find are the fox faces. Now these are obligate algae eaters and they are great for grazing naturally on all kinds of algae that grow on the rocks. You can see they quite happily shoal together even in different species. Here we've got a yellow rabbit fish and some fox faces. They're completely reef safe and get on really well with many different types of fish and tend to do well in large tanks and even in small shoals. As you can see there, there was a little bit of aggression. Now these fish are actually venomous and they use their top dorsal spines as protection. However, they never actually stab anything. It's just more of a bluff and the last resort if they get cornered. Best tip with these is know where they are, don't surprise them and don't try and give them a little tickle and you'll be fine. Now the next type of fish we're going to talk about are tangs. There are a few different types of tang. This particular one here is a cell fin tang as you can tell from the large dorsal and anal fin. And also you can see that they've got a nice spike on their tail, which gives them the title of surgeon fish. Tangs are very good at eating algae. It's one of the main parts of their diet, but some are better at others and they do focus on different types of algae. So these long nosed tangs, the sow fins, tend to focus more on the hair algae because that is what they have specialised in eating. That's why they have these long noses so they can get onto the algae and grab it from the rock work. But there are other types of tang which do different things. Hiding at the back there is a coal tang. Now these are the Tanakitas tangs. You can see their mouths are very different. They have more of a rasping mouth. You can see from the rock work there, which is quite algified, there are parts of algae missing. And that's because the Tenachetus is specialised in scraping algae from the rocks. So it won't really eat the hair algae, but if you've got a good algae coverage on your rock work and you want something to eat it, then this kind of tang is what you need. There are a few different types of Tenachetus, but I do think that the yellow eye tangs are one of the more attractive varieties. Bear in mind, Tenachetus do need a lot of space to swim around, so I wouldn't put them in too small of a tank. So the last kind of tang which is actually any good at eating algae are the Acanthurus tangs. Now these are the most sensitive kind of tang you're going to find for algae eating. However, get a good healthy specimen and you'll be fine. You'll notice this one has a completely different mouth again. This is a bit of a general algae eater. So it's somewhere between the salfins and the Tenachetus. It will eat both hair algae and it will scrape from the rocks. It's a jack of all trades. One thing to note though is most Acanthurus will get significantly larger than both the Salfins and the Tenachetus tanks, so the largest of tanks is needed for one of these. However, they're quite a well-natured fish and will get on with most other additions to your reef tank. So the last kind of fish that's any good for eating algae and one of the smallest are the algae blennies. Now there are lots of different kinds. This is one of my personal favourite, the Red Spot Flymo Blenny. And these are actually more suitable for a smaller aquarium. However, they do require a lot of algae in the aquarium to thrive. Because normally they don't eat much in the way of mysis or brine shrimp. You can find that these will starve in the aquarium if not given enough food to eat. At the back there you can see the more common kind of algae blenny. Now these come in a few different flavours as well. This is the common one, but you can get some more uh, sparkly versions, including the Jewel Algae Blenny. These are possibly one of the hungriest Algae Blennies you'll find on the market. And one which typically will starve in the aquarium if it doesn't acclimate over to frozen food. However, they do make excellent algae grazers and will constantly rasp on the rock work, removing sheets of algae along the way. Being a blenny, they tend to hang around the rocks and will not swim in the open current too much. They'll only be aggressive to other blennies and not to any of the larger fish, but they will create a territory for themselves. So the only other fish that will really graze on any kind of algae are the angelfish. 
Now angelfish are a bit of a difficult one because they tend to eat anything. But if you don't feed them too much on the frozen foods, they will start to pick at the algae. But they're not the best for reliability when it comes to algae eating. That being said, they are a beautiful fish. Um, this particular one is a flame angel, one of the nicest angels you can get. But please be aware that depending on the species, they may or may not be reef safe. That one there, for instance, is a male and female Bellis angel. Now, they are reef safe and are better algae eaters than the Centropi species, which is this one. Also, depending on the species, some angelfish can get absolutely huge. So be aware when buying angels to check the size they get to. So I hope this video has been useful. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Also check out my Patreon page if you want to help me to make these videos because it really will make a difference. So thank you for watching and happy fish keeping.